Right Honorable Deputy Speaker and leadership of uh, the indefatigable Green Chambers. Once again, we want to thank the Honorable Members to do the feat to fight for Nigerians. We really appreciate this. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, nobody, nobody on this side of the divide has answered your question. You've been ask, asking them one particular question. Neither from there, neither from here. Everybody is dancing around it. What the Deputy Speaker wanted to hear is how much did you buy this product per liter? By now you must have computed unit cost per liter. They're dancing around it and telling you stories. Nobody, that is exactly what the Deputy Speaker has been asking for. And nobody has answered that. Before they came here, sir, they were supposed, they were supposed to have computed their unit cost. Because we can tell you our unit cost per seat. So you ask this question several times, sir, with due respect. Nobody has answered the question. They're dancing around the question. But I have the mandate of every airline in this country to announce to you, sir, that if they can't come down from their rooftop, we have only three more days to be able to fly. We are not threatening this country. We want to, we've been subsidizing what we are doing. Sir, I will give you the rates as of today. 630, 640, 605. We have an aircraft going to Kano. That one has about 7,000 uh, 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 liters of fuel on it. Multiply it, sir, by 630. The unit cost per seat already is about 70,000 naira per seat. About 70,000 naira per seat. You've not talked about the insurance that is very static. And Nigerians pay a lot of insurance premium because this country is stigmatized. The insurance, you, don't, you have to insure in the Lloyds of London and other places abroad. It is a must because all the insurance companies in Nigeria put together cannot even insure one aircraft. So you have to go abroad to insure. And they slam us with heavy premiums. What we use in insuring one plane is what the legacy airlines of this world use in insuring about three planes. So the Nigerian airline is dead on arrival. Yet the fuel cost, which was supposed to be about 30 to 40 percent in every climb in the world, in Nigeria, I told you the other day, is about 70 percent even before this time. So you can now see the mortality rate of airlines in this country, the causes. See, they've refused to answer your simple question. How much, whether you got money from CBN or you got from the red market, how much is the unit cost of your acquisition? So that we know if the airlines are cheating you or you're cheating the airlines or if you will form the cartel to increase your prices overnight. From what is happening, sir, if we continue this way, the least tickets you will expect from airlines will be about 120,000 naira for economy. And we don't want to do that because it will not help the ordinary man. It will not help the ordinary man. I have the mandate of airline, sir, to inform the House that we are now demanding, airline is demanding that we should be given license to import this fuel. If we can buy jets, that are costing hundreds of millions or $80 million, we can afford to import this fuel. Let NNPC give us the right to import fuel. I will not complain to you, sir. Okay.